In today's video, I want to complete the entire master set of Paldean Fates, but I've got a massive problem. I have completely run out of Paldean booster packs, and I'm sure you guys already guessed it, but I was straight on the phone to Mayhem Collectibles asking if they had any booster packs left of this set at all. And ladies and gentlemen, not only did they have plenty of Paldean Fates available, Mick also told me they had finally got the Secret Rare Shining Charizard traded into the shop. So I got to thinking, what could I trade Mick to not only secure this Charizard card, but also leave with a bunch of booster packs of Paldean Fates? And that's when it all came to me. I still have my PSA 10 original Shining Charizard from Hidden Fates. And this card right here is Mick's favorite card of all time. So with that card in my hand, I drove all the way down to Mayhem and traded Mick for every single bit of Paldean Fates product he had left in the shop. I'm not even joking. But finally, I had secured the one and only Secret Rare Shining Charizard. And I gotta say, with that card in the binder and the Fuller Arvin that we got in the last episode, this binder was looking absolutely phenomenal, but there were still so many baby shinies left for me to pull. So that's why we're about to crack open every single booster that I just got, which is well over a hundred packs. And just quickly, I can't be the only one opening up some Pokemon boosters this episode, so I'm gonna pick one lucky comment and give you these 10 Paldean packs. Anyway, we've got some shiny Pokemon cards to pull, so let's get opening. And just before we try and complete the rest of Paldean Fates, today's video is only made possible by the most exciting sponsor, Matchmaster. Now, first of all, if you don't know about this game, it's a match three game, but you play against real people. So let's try and play our first game right here. I'll quickly show what we're dealing with. It's going to find the opponent from around the world. This is a real person, and we're going to try and take them down right now. You could try and match three. So we're going to go for this one to start with, and then we're going to go for an orange. Not too bad. We could have done a little bit better. We want to get like a, if you can get a match four, that's, that's the best thing ever because you get a free turn. Look at that. Extra move. We got the four. Oh, that was a really, really good one. And then we can activate this. High voltage. Look at that. All the blues. Oh, we've... Out oh, my... This is ridiculous. <laughs> I swear, oh, this is the best game I've played so far. There is a chance, though. There's always a chance your opponent can come back. Like, even though I'm miles ahead right now. Like, depending on their booster, they could always come back, like, with flying colors. Surely he doesn't come back. He's going to need, like, 200 points to come back right now. Yes! Oh, that was such a satisfying win. Now, it actually, it's going to give me stars, depending on how good my win is. I was going to say, if it wasn't three stars, I would have a personal problem. Now, if you're watching that thinking, Ando, I could so beat you inside of this game, well, you're in luck. Because in one of my next videos, I'm going to play one of you guys watching in the video live in this game. So all I'm going to say is make sure you download the game with my link that's in the description and you can have a shot at trying to take me on. And probably the coolest thing ever is Matchmasters actually reached out to me and said, Ando, we want to give a prize away to your audience at home, but we don't want you to pick out the prize. We want the audience to tell us what they want. So leave a comment in the comment section below what do you guys want to win as the prize? So all I'm going to say is make sure you get practicing, download the game by clicking the link that's in the description, and stay tuned to my community tab on YouTube. And I'm going to announce more details on how you can take me on in Match Masters. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're like, Ando, come on, 102 boosters is absolutely ridiculous. You're like, you don't need to open this many. You're only got a couple of cards left. Well, let me tell you, we've still got 30 Pokemon cards, and they're all baby shinies that I need to get. But on top of that, put aside the baby shinies. We're looking for literally one- Oh, snap! Okay, this is a good start. We've already got Gognackle, but I'm also going to take as much trade ammunition as possible. Oh! Double hitter on the first pack! Okay, was not expecting that. Anyway, what I was saying, we need as much trade ammunition as possible, so I don't really mind doubling up. But we need this many boosters, because when you're looking for 30 shinies, I feel like that's going to be quite a tough task to do. But the crazier tough task is some of the particular ones we're looking for, you wouldn't think would be that rare. But let me tell you... Oh, okay, we'll take an EX. This is actually really good. Two boosters, we've gone two for two. This is why I really enjoy opening this set. I'm really, like, happy when a set's really fantastic and it takes a while to complete. It means I get to open up more of it, and I get to have more fun hunting for these cards. But the particular cards I reckon are going to be really painful to get. Ready? Oh my goodness. We are on a hat trick. We're going to try and go for the four. Do you reckon a four-layer cheeseburger is even possible? If any set's going to provide the goods, it's going to be this one. Pikachu, Lapras, Toad Scroll. Come on, let's get something we don't have as well. That would be sick. Nest Ball. All right, we're going to pretend that this never happened, and we're going to see if this booster can contain the goods. 
But the cards that are tricky... Oh! It's gold! It's gold! It's gold! Ting Lu. If we get Ting Lu, I will demolish Pikachu in the brand new set. The first ever Pikachu dive. We've got none other. Ting Lu. Oh, you can't even make it up. Pikachu. Oh, my goodness. We did it. Oh, my goodness. We've done it. I've got every single card minus the uh, baby shiny Pokemon cards. I don't know how many boosters I got left, but if we just keep opening... We might have to speed it up eventually. This is the best episode ever. If you haven't done... There's a full light. There's a full light. There's a full light. If it's a Charizard, I will do a backflip into that Pikachu again. You ready? Clive? Charmeleon? <sighs> okay. Great Tusky EX. Yeah, that's our double as well. Are you noticing that every single pack except one has been a hit? Something seems a little bit sus. But it, I still need to get to my point. The rarest baby shinies, and like they're actually quite rare, are the ones we're missing. Snorlax, have you got that? Leave it in the comments, because that's actually a particularly rare card I'd love to get. So you got Snorlax, and then... You wouldn't believe the particular shiny that's hard to get? It's none other than Pidgey. And even like I think his evolutions like Pidgeotto and Pidgeot, they're rare cards as well, but Pidgey in particular, it's actually making the top 13 most expensive cards in the whole set, which is really random. Why is Pidgey that expensive? Why'd they make him that hard to get? And they're all I think colorless Pokemon as well. Or oh, I like this. These cards in my opinion should have been a lot rarer. I don't really have any gripes with Pokemon cards ever. I'm always appreciative of like whatever gets released, but my gripe with this set is like that poor me, the Palafin, those Pokemon cards should have been so much rarer than they are. I feel like there's not many in the set, so they put a lot in there. Yeah, I don't know. That's my only issue, if I was to have an issue with the set. But I really want Pidgey. I really want Snorlax. Another card that gets lumped into that really rare baby shiny lot is um, Ditto. I'll take a Ralts though. Ralts is, you know, great evolution line. Very popular. Maractus and Armor Rouge. Oh, we're smashing it. How much trade ammo do I have for the next set? Because the best part about this is I'm opening this and then... I think it's next week the uh, brand new Pokemon card set will come out and I'll get to go to a trade day and I'll have heaps of stuff to trade away. So hopefully you guys that have cards I need for the brand new set. Anyway, we're trying to complete this one. I want to do this before I get to the next one. So it'd be really nice if I could get that Pidgey. If I could get the Pidgeotto, the Pidgeot. This is 102 packs. We're nearly done with the first one. Then we've only got three more to go. I'm giving away every single code card, by the way, so... If you want to pause the video, cash them in. You are more than welcome. Natu, Nestle, Graplock, Iono. There's like, there's like a hundred, there's like a hundred baby shinies to get. And I go and double up on the Garganackle. How do you double up on the baby shiny? How do you get the same one when there's a hundred in there? That's ridiculous. Give me two Charizards. I'm not going to be complaining. I'm also curious, like, you're probably going to cheat. But I reckon if you could guess, am I going to get a Charizard? Oh, that's sick. Toxel baby shiny. Awesome. Lechonk and Reverum. But, do you reckon we're gonna get Charizard? If I could somehow secure the bag today, get a second Charizard, oh snap. That would be fantastic. That would be another backflip into the Pikachu. And there's one card that we still need that I don't have that was probably, to me, more important than Charizard. Ah, oh, Wugtrio and Raichu, not too bad, Wugtrio. Another Pokemon card that should have been a lot more rare in the set. You guys probably know this. I've only actually seen it once, and it sucks I saw it for sale. I just didn't buy it because I thought I would pull it by now, but Thunderous Shiny. If we could get Thunderous Shiny, I would be absolutely blown away. Because that's a card I would love to pull. Paldean Students Full Art. Unfortunately, I pulled so many doubles of this, and no one wants to trade, because I've taken this to two trade days. Not one person wanted to trade for this one. But yeah, Thunderous would be, a, it's my favorite Pokemon. So to get Thunderous as a shiny would be fantastic. Oh, I need this, I need this. Oh, that's sick. Voltorb, Voltorb and Electrode. What are we down to like 29 baby shinies that I need? Here we go, second to last booster of this first pile. Then I'll clear off the set. Numel, the thing with this new set, I don't think there's much real estate in between me and the boosters, so when we're doing a ridiculous opening like this... Oh! This is what I'm talking about! You just get all the Paldean student cards, no one wants to trade for them. It's like getting two of the uh, Garganackle baby shinies. Anyway, last booster, let's finish this off in a bang, let's see if we can't get something good, and then we're gonna speed open the rest of them, and see what comes out of a ridiculous amount of Paldean fates. Ah, oh, this is, yep. Yeah. Now, you know what? I'm glad I brought it up because that's exactly what I'm talking about. Let's clear the set off. All right, we've got a big stack right here. We got, look at this. It's basically Mount Everest of Paldean Fates. But you know what it is? It's a Shining Charizard worth of Paldean Fates. I 
How good the Charizard though? So that's the silver lining. We've got the Lechonk. Come on, Ralts. Got the Char a Charmeleon Shiny would be another really- Oh my! You would think I'm making this up. It's our third shiny Garganacle. Really, I don't need this many Garganacle. Are you serious right now? What are the chances? This, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's over 100 shiny. It's like more than 100 secret rares in general. Like, keep in mind the full arts as well. We're not doubling up on the full arts. We're not doubling up on any shinies. Not even doubling up on the EXs. We're doubling up on shiny Garganacles. How does that even work? Have you guys got three of the same shiny Pokemon when you opened a couple of ETBs? Surely that hasn't happened to you. I did a 100 pack opening when this set first came out and I still don't think I got three of the same baby shinies. <gasps> oh, that's sick. Full art shiny Alakazam EX. That is killer. Look at the pink. And I'm really happy. I cannot believe the Tinglu EX straight off the bat. That just set the tone for today's episode. Like, Ando, you're going to get the goods. You're going to complete the set today. But yeah, I don't know. Not with the rate that we're doubling up in the Garganacles, we're not. Lantern, Pikachu. Oh! Get another Pikachu, like this bad boy in the shiny. Woo! Looks great. Very expensive card. I think when I got mine, it was like 40 bucks when I last checked. And 40 bucks for a baby shiny is definitely up there. Mimikyu is another one. I think it's an off-brand Pikachu. Mimikyu is another expensive card in the set. Mastiff and a Professor's Research. All right, let's do some speed openings right now. Just generally curious what the ratio would be after all of these prod- Oh! Something here. What do we got? Oh, Glimora! I think this is actually a more common fuller, but I haven't seen a lot of it. So, oh, 100% take that. Look at the blue. Look at that texture. Reflecting off the blue. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Second full art shiny. And I'm definitely taking that because we haven't got that many full arts yet. Have you noticed? And let me... I'm curious. Are you guys still collecting Paldean Fates? Or am I really... Oh! I did it! Look at this! Tetsugiri! Amazing! Boom! This is what I'm talking about! Nearly fell over there, nearly lost my life. Look at that! God of War EX Secret Rare! I remember Michael pulled this at Mayhem. Now I've pulled this and I got a double. That is sick. But then Tatsugiri, one of my favorite shinies. Oh, I'm so over the moon. I don't know why I like Tatsugiri more than God of War, but like God of War, holy, look at the artwork. Can you see all the hidden Pokemon right here? Like a Pachirisu, Wooper. A couple more in the background. Like, we got two big piles left to go. I've got Gardevoir. Oh, come on. Charizard's definitely around the corner. I should also point out as well, these are like heavily mixed up. When uh, I spread them out, getting them out the ETB, they were already getting mixed. And then I put them on the table to take the... Th oh my, why? It's our 10,000th one. All right, we're just going to put Paldean students to the side and nobody's going to talk about it, all right? But yeah, when I put them out on the table for the thumbnail, I really just like mix these bad boys up. So, oh, there you, look at that. One trio again. So the chance of us getting like back-to-back -back hits, probably quite strong. And it probably explains why the intro to this video was like banger after banger. Toad scroll. I'm a little concerned, like, my thing with these EXs is I'm getting a lot of them. And the regular EXs in the set are just so not so, no, I've got, I've got an accent for some reason. Here we go, what's this though? Oh, my bass! Do I have it? Uh, let's have a look. Oh my, I actually need it. This is sick. I think we're down in our 20s right now. We just need like 20-ish baby shinies. This is a good episode. I'm really excited. Please stay to the end and watch the binder recap because I swear we're like a couple of cards left. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Oh, yes it is. Graffiti. 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 Grafiai? Is that how you say it? But yeah, I might actually complete this whole set inside of another episode, because I reckon we're only going to be like 10 cards off. So maybe we'll just do a trade day episode and see if I can't complete the whole thing. Oh! Oh, Rabska! Rabska, I think I might need. It is a beaut- like, it's chewing gum. Literally, it's just rolled up, and that should be probably poo, but you know what? It's a shiny version, so we're going to call it chewing gum. Oh, we're racking and stacking the weird ones now. Can we go four? I mean, are we, are we really pushing the limits like that? Let's try and get a fourth one. Oh, we are! Holy smokes! Oh, we run four in a row! Mouse hold! Now, hold on. Tandem mouse. It's a possibility. But the bigger possibility, we're going for like five in a row. Shiny, come on, come on, come on. Nah. Nah. Oh, it's always a... You notice that? If it lets you down, it's a rev room. Where should I put my doubles? Hmm. Maybe I'll put the doubles in the back of the binder so I remember the opening. No, I don't need the full up version. I need your regular form. Give me Pidgey. I want this one. Pidgeotto in the baby shiny. I don't think I've ever said that to a fuller, but I don't need it. I always need the fuller cards. <laughs> 
I don't know, that Pidgey, I reckon, is going to be one of those Pokemon that I just won't get. I won't pull. Because look at this, we're nearly down two piles. We've nearly done the first two towers. We only have the last two right here. Oh! Oh, Slowpoke! I'm not even mad. I've got this one. Beautiful original 151 on the shiny. I'll take a Slowpoke where I can get it. Second to last one. This has been a good one. These have been good hits. The fact we got Gardevoir, I still can't believe that. Numel and Tandem Mouse. Ooh, wouldn't mind a shiny Tandem Mouse. Final one. Let's see if we can't get something. Oh, even Bubble Mew. Bubble Mew just seems to be evading us. Today? Oh my, is this seriously a trend? Why are we getting this every single time? Ladies and gentlemen, for science, we are down to the final two. I need this one. The Tinker Tuff, Tinker Tons. Why, they, they are impossible as well. I almost feel like they're the untalked about hard reality of completing the set. They're just tricky. And you know what's funny is they're so popular that people don't want to trade them. Very tightly held Pokemon. Swoobat. Ooh, here we go. What's this? Frigibax? Mankey? <sighs> Neuvern EX. I get a little excited. I see the shiny. I'm thinking today's the day. I'm getting that Charizard. Oh! That is the day! Absolutely today's the day! Wigglytuff EX as well! Okay, friend tackle with 90 plus. Let's put you to the side. Wigglytuff EX as well. I could almost build... It'd be funny if you started to build out a separate side set. Because I had so many... I've got so many doubles of the... Like, I could definitely build three more of the main set of Powder and Fates. With how many cards I'm opening to complete the baby set section. Oh, that Ion is so tough to get. Oh, Dondozo! I don't have this one! Sick! This is... Oh, I didn't know he was a white shiny. That is elite! Look at his golden mouth as well. Oh, Dondozo's pretty cool. He's on the front of the packs as well, so you got to give him some love. What a beautiful name for a Pokemon. This is good. Oh, I'm having fun. I'm enjoying my life, but I think it could get even crazier. I think we could do some absolute damage today. Raichu, if we just like... Oh, got something even crazier. Maybe if we get the Charizard. Oh, Cyril. I mean, we've got the Sarah Ledge, but like this is sick. Very cool Pokemon. Shiny and Armorage as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think if I get the Charizard, maybe I'd... Take, would I take it back to Mayhem? I could even do that in this episode. Maybe if we get the Charizard, I'd take it back down to Mayhem. EX, okay. And would trade it in. And then would try and buy the rest of the Shinies if they have it available. This set's been out for so long, I feel like... They'd have a good supply. From what I saw last time, they had a few. They didn't have Thunderous, though. And Thunderous is my main... Man, did I... Oh, yes! Yes, come on! How good is today? How good is today's episode? You're joking! We got the Iona as well? We got the Gardevoir, the Ionu, the Gold Tinglu! I don't- you know what's funny is like, all these good packs could be not out of the ETB. I was about to say, the ETB is the product to get. Maybe they're out of the collection boxes. Maybe they're out of the tins. It's okay, I'm not fast. I'm getting the cards anyway. And there's another banger. There's another banger. It's called Squawkabilly Full Art Shiny. And that guy's got the big- look at this quiff. Boo! I don't mind Squawkabilly as well. I think he's pretty cute and pretty cool. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks actually. Squawk and Seize. That's a, uh, an, an annoying competitive term that you just don't want to hear when you can play competitively. I, ever since running that tournament, ever since I learned to play the TCG and I played in that tournament, I get flashbacks when I read certain abilities. It just makes me, like, dislike that card. Art, Artizone? Oh, I hate Artizone. Like, I've just, it's been used against me too well. The, I hate this. I hate this card too. Oh, Maridon and this? I get it. Just terrible. It's how I lose games. Because they draw 10,000 of those. They put it to their, uh, put it on their Maridon and the game's over in five seconds. What is this? Oh, yes! I need this too! Oh, we are close. We actually have to be so deadly close. This bind is getting complete today. I swear we actually might do it. This is awesome. This is an astronomically good pull. As I said, Snorlax and Pidgey. They're the hard ones, I don't reckon. Oh, and Thunderous. Thunderous, I keep forgetting about. I shouldn't do, though. I just think it's been embedded in my mind that no one's actually managed to find a Snorlax for sale. Or Mayhem's definitely told me they've never had one traded in. So it worries me that I'm not going to be able to get that. What's this? Cleffa. I have four or five of these. In my opinion, the most pulled shiny I've got is Cleffa. Have you guys got a Pokemon you think you've pulled the most shinies of? What do we got here? Nothing. Oh. It's alright. Let's keep it going. Okay, 
Move you to the side. There's something in here. It's another Squawkabilly, isn't it? Yeah, Whimsicott. And the old Squawkabilly with, everyone say it with me, Squawk and Seize. Yep, I don't want to hear that again. Squawk and Seize. Okay, back to my favorite, Dondozo. He's got the Albino Dondozo, the AKA the white one. Oh, I've really butchered this pack open. I think they used extra glue because they were putting so many Charizards inside, it just wouldn't seal shut. Oh, that's definitely not the case. When I was younger, I, I literally thought that was the reason packs were harder to open. Because the- Oh, this is- It's funny that I- Like, Trenton Flowers actually gave me his ditto. That's why I've got one in the set already. Um, when we opened some product with him, but this is a very particularly hard card to get. That's great. That's cool to have another one. Actually, I think my girlfriend wanted that one. Oh, I can't trade that. She's gonna have it, but- she thought it was very, very cute. She didn't know that Ditto was blue shiny. But I'll definitely side with her. I think blue is a very cool color for a shining Pokemon. I also love the lime green ones. Get me going too. This is something. What is it? Oh, what? Yo, this is awesome. I don't care if I've already got this. We've got Pikachu shiny baby and the Ditto. Wow. Okay. So, Pig look at that. Pikachu as well. I cannot wait for this episode, once we finish opening, to put it in a binder. This is going to look fantastic! Even if I don't trade them, just having another binder with these uh, shiny Pokemon in it. Man, I am getting too excited over this. I don't often get excited over building binders as well. Like, sometimes I'm like, just complete the set, I'm good. I want doubles. I want some baby shiny doubles in my other binders. What do we get? Oh! Glimmit. I reckon I don't have this. I do not remember it. I also, weirdly enough, I have a Glimmit ring coming. Like, I have ordered one. I don't know, it looked really cool. And I was like, that's such an odd Pokemon to put in a ring. But I think the way it looks, it fits very well on a bit of jewelry. Uh, it's another one trio. I'm gonna end up with 10,000 of those. Whoever wins today's giveaway of the 10 boosters, I'm very curious what you end up getting. Because I bet you'll get the Charizard if I don't get it today. <gasps> it's another, it's another Alakazam. That's okay. I was gonna say, uh, if that was the last pack, we finished on a full art. But we all know what the full art is we're about to end on, don't we? Caldean Friends. That's definitely gonna be the last thing that we see today. Ooh, Clodsire. Alright, we'll take the Clodsire EX, take a regular one. Maybe I should count how many hits we got, so we got a lot. Unfortunately, not quite enough to, uh, flesh out the 30 baby shinies that I do need with Clive! The wrong Clive, this is the annoying one that you don't want too many of. You want the chibi form Clive because he's got all the cameos. Sylveon's looking gorgeous. But we'll take the fuller as our final pull. Now we're on to the last legs. It has all come down to this. The final lot of boosters. This might be... I don't think it will be, but it could be. The final ever Paldean fat. Oh! I was about to say Paldean packs. So that was a good little pun. But no, look at this. Veluza shiny straight off the bat. These are the final ever Paldean packs I open. It would be a miracle, but I can't say that, because I definitely will be another Paldean set. There just might not be another Paldean shining set. Oh, double hit, look at this. Gardevoir EX. Let's go for the triple cheeseburger right now. Can we go three for three? This is my final big stack right here. We're going for a third. We've got the third. Squawkabilly EX full on card. Can we do the fourth? Come on, I'm stacking this cheeseburger higher than the... McDonald's auto menu would allow us to stack it. <gasps> yes! That's our fourth. Squawkabilly EX. We could get 10,000 Squawkabillies. It's still piling. Little Timmy. We're going for five in a row right now. If we get a hit right here, we've got five hits in a row. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is what I'm talking about. I shuffled these bad boys into oblivion. Right now, we're going for six. You're about to witness six hits in a row. And I think we've done it. No. No, come on. No! Oh, we almost had six hits in a row. If we opened this one, would it have been six hits in a row? It would have done! Wigglytuff shining as well! When they're looking like chibi chubby form, they look fantastic. Let's pretend that didn't exist and say that's six hits in a row. Could we have got seven? I reckon we have, actually. Great Tusk EX is coming through as our seventh hit. Open Pow Day and Face, guys. This is like... This is the most forgiving set ever. If you had, like, if you mowed the lawns, which is what I did back in the day for Pokemon cards, you'd be so satisfied, like, if you managed to save up for... I'd imagine that ETB is even very expensive, because you'd have to mow the lawns a lot of times to get one, but, like, you would be so... <gasps> nah. Oh! What? No! I can't... My voice, my voice is so short, I can't yell. This is our second Ionu! I can't believe it. I'm shambles right now. The fact that the two Ionus, after all of our luck today, that's awesome! 
I still can't get over the tingler at the start though. That's cinematic. That's written better than like any movie that won an Oscar this year. You go to the side. Come on, Charizard. Something insane. C guys, it's all been leading up to this one moment. It's 102 boosters. Come on, for Pete's sake, that's got to be enough to get something insane. Oh, Wigglytuff EX, we're getting so close. And the fact we got a regular baby Wigglytuff EX is massive as well. We're getting close to the end though. That's all that remains. That's the only packs that we got. Crumpet and Goldango. But we got the Noivern EX as well. Okay. It's coming down to the wire. I see the end. If I could legit... Oh! You are watching the craziest opening ever. We're doubling up on these things. This new studio. Thumbs it up, guys. This is why you watch Unlisted Leaf. Oh, two Ionus, two Gardevoirs, gold card. You're joking me. I've got two of those. So now I've got three in the collection. I'm uh, I'm checking into Star Command right now. Because we are on the final legs. We are on the last couple of packs. And with this luck, can we carry through? Oh, is this a sign? Charizard regular EX or Terraform EX. Not the full art, but we'll take a Charizard because that could be hinting towards something coming down the road. And with the luck, I just want to keep carrying it through. We want to keep the momentum going. And it's going to get us either the top two. We've just gone and got th the third and fourth most expensive card twice. Squawkabilly once again. You are seeing the amount of doubles we get. And then you're seeing the cards we're also missing out on. Like, come on, Snorlax uh, Baby Shiny? How do we get two white? Oh my gosh. Nah, Drift Bloom. Drift Bloom Shiny. It's funny that we get two Gardevoirs. We get two Ionus, and then we just can't get Baby Snorlax. You know what's saying? No, no, no. Just don't even worry about Baby Snorlax. We can't get Baby Pidgey. How's that even possible? Come on, Houndstone. Gosh, what is this? This is like six boosters left now. Oh, and swing this around. My voice is completely shot. I'm trying to be as quiet as possible because I want to save the last bit of my voice for when I see the glorious flame. When I see that shining pink wrap around the lizard. Oh! There's a bit of shiny there. Oh, it's Fortress. Terraform Fortress. I, for some reason, I just, the first thing I think when I see this card is it's number two in the set. I don't know why. Maybe because I've built the set a couple of times now, but my first thought when I see Fortress is, oh, it's number two. Clefki shiny. What a random shiny. What a random Pokemon to start with. We'll take another shiny. But that's already one we got. And with five packs remaining, I don't think we're completing the set. But we've definitely got enough trade ammunition to go out and complete the set on the next trade day. So let's finish this with a bang. This is the fourth to last booster, by the way. Oh, Judge Full Art. Completely forgot he was in the set, but we'll take a judge. Third to last booster right here. Dondozo. We've got the shiny baby version. Can we get something else that's even crazier? Exato. Second to last pack. We're going to finish strong. A hundred and two boosters have been opened and... Oh no. It's really come down. There are so many things I want out of this final pack. I just can't even put into words. Let's get anything. Anything that we need. Baby shiny. Double up of a crazy full art. Ladies and gentlemen, this definitely won't be the last. I am going to open more Powder and Fates. It's just a matter of how much you guys want to support the episode, how many of you want to see another episode of me trying to complete the set. Oh, there's a full art. There's a full art. It's a shiny, actually. It's King Gambit, which we haven't got before. We will definitely take a King Gambit to finish off the episode, Executor, and, oh, of course. Of course we get Powder and Students. All right. Let me build out the binder, and let's work out the few cards that remain until we complete the entire set. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost there. I have almost completed the most ridiculous set I have seen in recent times. Like, I'm talking over 100 secret rares, and we're like 15 cards off finishing the whole thing. Anyway, the regular set minus the secret rares, that's no worries at all. That's completely done, which I think looks really nice in the binder. It's when we start getting to the shinies, I'm still missing a few things. Now, Smoliv is the only grass stuff I'm missing. A Smoliv! Then we need like Baxcalibur, a couple of lightning ones that I'm really ashamed of, like Thunderous, 
How am I still missing Thunderous? I have no idea. On top of that as well, we're missing the entire evolution line of Poor Me, Poor Mo, and Poor Mod. Then we need the Abra right here to go next to our Kadabra, and a couple of other Psychic Pokemon. I mean, like Tinkertuff and Tinkerton we still need. They're gonna be tricky to get. And somehow, again, the evolution line of Pidgey and Pidgeotto we are both missing. But hands down, the most difficult Pokemon to pull is definitely going to be the Snorlax right here. So that's something we're going to have to track down on our next episode. But putting that aside, looking at our full arts right here, it is all complete and finally done. We did it, guys. Look at all of those full arts together. The Oven, the Charizard, the Bubble Mew, and all of the beautiful gold cards. This is where the set really comes into its own, and I love it to pieces. Anyway, if you got any suggestions or like hints and tricks to try and complete the set on our next episode, a trade day or a certain product to open, let me know. Have a fantastic day. If you're loving the series, thumbs up the video. But most of all, keep on gaming. I'll see you in the next one.